so this was me in the morning uh trying to make a video i was sent to my mom my dad and then my wife my family to tell them i was already um flying to the city i told them i was going to and then we took off uh, the flight was meant to be for three hours and then um two uh, about two hours 30 minutes into the flight it started raining heavily it's a usual thing to rain while you're up there but the rain was too much it was so heavy that i couldn't see anything uh, i was sitting directly behind the pilot you can see the pilot looking left looking right trying to look down uh, before everywhere was covered I, I i knew we're on top of a river i i saw we're on top of a river so and i i, I noticed the plane was going down speedily so at that point i became i became uh, um, scared as a human being and then i began to pray my spirit and i say lord i i can't end like this remember i'm building you a church i had an agreement with you that i was going to build you a church single-handedly years back um, a few years ago when i started a, a particular business he gave me an idea i promised him to do a church and i, I I'm, I'm dedicating this church by by uh, january 28th lord I, I i can't go to the grave and that church will be dedicated save us save us i began to speak in tongues and before i knew it i just saw that we touched the ground suddenly because i wasn't seeing anything in the front and then look at the waters Look at the waters uh, you know i would touch the ground it was a, a a muddy place feel the water look at the water the way you know and then the pilot couldn't control it and then the next thing we saw ourselves was our, our the head of the plane was already getting into the bush and then he stopped suddenly so we all rushed out of the plane to avoid a fire outburst and you can see the fans still rotating and then the villagers with the sound of what happened villagers gathered people were trying to assist us we were there all night all day all night trying to find solution bringing out the plane we couldn't uh, do anything they were using shovels and all that so they now brought a tractor uh, by the next day and then uh, <clears throat> the tractor was now what we tried to use meanwhile the aviation fuel was leaking uh, while the plane bent uh, to one side so uh, we we found a means to collect the aviation fuel so these are the gallons all these things were aviation fuel that were uh, I, I gathered all night till this morning and then we tried to still get it out until around 3 p.m when we were able to bring it out of the place and then um, the type the pilot checked the engine and said um, one of the engines was still in a very perfect condition the other one was a bit affected according to what he said and then he said that uh, something broke in the in the leg what the thing that covers the tire when tire goes up so that we we're going to lose it up so the pilot lost it out and um, uh, there was no runway so how do we because we can't even stay there we can't even it was a village no way to go out so the only means was still to fly with the same craft out of the place no wrong way so the villagers had to clear the land clear the place and then try to give us a place where the plane can run the truck you can see the tractor dragging the plane to a far place where we can at least have a little place to run and take off and then i said to the pilot are you sure we can go he said we'll try so i, I took his hand said the word of prayer and then we trusted god got back into the plane and then um we had to do a short run and then we took off and god took us on the air and kept us for three hours back to kinshasa this is us landing back in kinshasa and then uh, this is what the pilot had to say after we landed so thank you i'm just here to thank say you. father thank you for sparing my life